Our main concern with atrial fibrillation, besides symptoms, has been prevention of stroke. The strokes associated with atrial fibrillation tend to be larger than strokes not associated with atrial fibrillation. They're more likely to end your life or cause permanent disability. From a medical standpoint, the only medication strategy that's ever been shown to improve survival in people with atrial fibrillation is the use of blood thinners. Not everyone is a candidate for long-term anticoagulation. If you have recurrent bleeding episodes on an anticoagulant, well, at some point, we just have to stop the drug. And, and historically, people in that situation have, are just have been stuck crossing their fingers and hoping they don't have a risk, they don't have a stroke. But now uh, we have a different approach. The, uh, the Watchman device is a new device that uh, can be implanted in the upper left chamber of the heart, the left atrium, to try and prevent clots from forming in the first place. When you have a normal rhythm, that left atrial appendage opens and closes. It actually helps transport blood out of your atrium into the left ventricle. When you're in atrial fibrillation, that same structure is quivering and there's stasis of blood and that's the first place that a clot is likely to form. If we can block off the left atrial appendage with a device, uh, what happens is that your body uh, kind of wallpapers over the device with, with natural tissue and pretty soon this, this blind pouch where clots would form becomes a smooth wall of your left atrial chamber. It's as effective as the use of an anticoagulant, but of course without the bleeding risk associated with those drugs. And so we're very excited to finally have an alternative to these drugs that just don't work out for some patients. This is a device that can be implanted without the need to open the chest. And the way we implant a left atrial appendage occlusion device, the Watchman, is by sending a catheter through the vein in your leg, the femoral vein, and we follow that vein up into the heart. Every vein in your body is just a highway back to your right atrium. Once we're in the right atrium, we can use a special needle and we puncture a hole to get across to the left chamber, which is right next door. Once we're in the left atrium, uh, we can use tools to uh, deploy this device in the left atrial appendage, and we test it and we can use x-ray and ultrasound to make sure that we have a good seal and that we've closed off the appendage. And once we're satisfied that we've gotten the job done and the device is uh, well secured to the appendage, we remove the delivery system, the entire tool is removed from the body and the, the hole in the septum closes on its own and, uh, and you seal up the hole in your leg uh, within a few hours. And so people are back to normal activity within a day or two. One of the challenges with the Watchman device is that uh, we know it takes uh, about three or four weeks before your body has wallpapered over the device uh, with, with natural tissue. And once that's happened, then we're not particularly worried about clots forming over the device. There's a concern with any foreign body inside the heart that clots could form on that body. And so with the Watchman, we do use anticoagulants for a month and a half after the implant. The patients who absolutely can't take a blood thinner can't get the Watchman, unfortunately, but typically people who have these risks are able to tolerate uh, an anticoagulant for a brief period, and, and we're, we're just uninterested in long-term use of anticoagulants in patients who've already shown that they bleed over time.